admit it, you stink at sticking to a budget. By the end of this video, you'll know what the envelope saving system is and how it will get you back on track with your finances. For the best personal finance content, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when I post a new video every Friday. I've helped hundreds of people learn to make better budgets. Now it's your turn. What's up and welcome to Smart Money. In today's video, I'm going to tell you about the envelope saving system. Let's jump right into it. We've been talking about budgeting a lot on the channel. I'm determined to help you find a budget that you're comfortable with so you can start saving money and paying off your debt. I like to try to put myself in your heads and in your shoes. Some of you might be getting a little worried about your finances around now. According to Experian, September is the most common birth month in the United States. If you know many people born in September, you might be flat broke from buying birthday gifts and attending socially distanced birthday dinners. And with 77 days till Christmas as of this writing, you're looking for the easiest way to set a budget so you can afford Christmas gifts. Perhaps you might be thinking that you tried the 50-30-20 budget we talked about before, but it didn't quite work out for you. You might have thought that the 50-30-20 budget just sounds too complicated and you're looking for something a bit less involved. I can work with that. If you're looking for something less complicated than the 50-30-20 budget, but still give you enough cash to afford a happy holiday season, look no further than this video. But first, don't forget to click the like button because if you don't, YouTube won't show our videos to other people. And remember to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our personal finance videos every single week. Do you have a budget? I really hope you do. Do you have a portion of your budget that you seem to overspend inconsistently? If you're like many people, you may overspend on things like groceries, eating out, or transportation. The envelope saving system can really help with that. The envelope saving system is a great, simple budgeting method that anyone can do. This system will help you stash away the money you need to pay bills while always keeping you within your budget. One reason you may overspend is because there's nothing telling you when you're over budget. When you use a credit or debit card, you're free to spend your money at will until you're either overdrawn or over limit. That's when your bank starts charging you fees and you begin losing wealth. The envelope saving system helps put the brakes on excessive spending. The system requires you to divide your income into different spending categories like bills, groceries, transportation, etc. and designate how much money you'd like to spend on those categories every pay period. You then take the amount of cash you've designated for each category and place it into an envelope. You're only permitted to spend what is in the envelope on any given category and nothing else. Pretty simple, right? The envelope saving system is great because it forces you to keep track of your spending habits. Spending cash is psychologically different from swiping a card. In my opinion, most people are less likely to spend money if they actually have to part with cash. Additionally, once the envelope for a given category is empty, you cannot spend more on that category for the rest of the pay period. Starting the envelope savings method is simple. All you need is a box of envelopes, a pen, and cash. Much like with other budget plans, you'll need to know what you're currently spending your money on. List your expenses for the pay period and how much money you spend on each. It helps if you write this down and add up the total to ensure that your budget is accurate. Your categories may include bills, childcare, dining out, entertainment, gas, groceries, rent and mortgage, and savings. Everyone's categories may differ, but these are just some examples to start you out. Don't forget to include expenses that aren't necessarily monthly or recurring like gifts and taxes. You'll also need to figure out how much money you spend on these categories. Check your bank or credit card statement in order to find out how much you spent on these categories over the past few months. Remember to make sure you tally your figures so that you aren't budgeting for more money than you make. That's a surefire way to stay in debt. What you do next is to label each envelope with a spending category and the amount you've decided to spend in that category per pay period. Put cash in each envelope according to your budget. For example, in step one, we said our budget included bills, childcare, dining out, entertainment, gas, groceries, rent and mortgage, and savings. Assuming you earn the median monthly income of $3,714 and you're paid monthly, your envelopes may look something like this. As to avoid offending anyone, I used average monthly income and monthly cost per person in the United States for all categories except gas and savings. Does your budget look like this? Let me know how closely your budget matches this one in the comments. You replenish your budget each pay period. Your final step is to spend the money in the envelopes on their designated categories. You'll need to carry the envelope with you when you plan to spend. 
if you don't have the appropriate envelope, you don't make the purchase. It's that simple. If your envelope runs out of money, your spending for that category is finished for the pay period. For example, if you're grocery shopping and your bill exceeds the amount you have available in your envelope, you remove items from the register until your bill meets the available funds. You'll have to avoid the temptation to switch money between envelopes. That will corrupt the envelope saving system and destroy the discipline you're trying to build. Conversely, if you get to the end of the month and you have extra money left over, you can do one of two things with it. You can keep that money in its designated envelope so you have more money in that category for next month, or add that money to your savings envelope to build your emergency fund. The envelope saving systems may sound great to those of us who still pay for things with cash. However, if you have a certain age, you might not even use cash anymore. This system may sound archaic to you. If you're a millennial or younger, you might not even keep cash in your wallet. However, like with most millennial and younger concerns, there are softwares that can help. There are many personal finance softwares that are built around the envelope budgeting system principles to allow you to combine the ease of using your credit card or debit card with the discipline of the envelope savings method. Software like You Need a Budget or YNAB and Envelopes allow you to create digital envelopes for your budget as well as let you track your spending in a given category. You tell the software which spending categories to use for your purchases and it deducts the money from the appropriate envelope. The envelope savings system is among the easiest budgets to create and maintain. All you need to do is designate your spending categories, fill the envelopes with cash, and stick to the money you've set aside. If you prefer not to use cash, you can use platforms like YNAB and Envelopes to simulate the envelope savings system with digital envelopes that give you the discipline of the envelope savings system without the inconvenience of carrying cash. Well, that's my video on the envelope savings system. I appreciate you watching. Let me know any questions, comments, or topic suggestions you might have on personal finance in the comments below. Now that you've created a budget, you should have enough money left over to invest. Even if all you've got left over is $100 and a sense of wonder, I'd recommend using Robinhood. It's completely free, plus if you use my link in the description, you'll get a free stock just for opening an account. Comment below and let me know what you get. Thanks again for all the support in the comment section, and special thanks to Yester Tech, who is our two-time comment section champion for this week. Make sure you join the discussion for a chance to have your comment featured. I read and reply to all the comments I get. Check out these videos on your screen on how to improve your finances. If you like this video, hit the like button. It helps out a lot. Be sure to subscribe and share the video with your friends. Check out the links in the description for offer information. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.